So, it's time for TLC, but I'm too busy playing Smash Brothers. I'll see you guys later. Wait, wait. Wait. No. wait. Hold on. Uh, time out. No. Draco! <laughs> if I had to put Smash down, then so do you. I don't even have a Switch. Fine. <laughs> anyway, By the way, it's... congratulations on getting this video demonetized. Eh, it won't. Netflix, <clears throat> um... Luckily, um, Nintendo are cool with YouTubers now. Yay! Yay! Especially me. Yeah, I got like my roommates got Switch, and I they moved in, so I have a Switch now, and I didn't even have yes. to pay for it. Booyah! I I have a Switch. I did pay for it. It is a good. It, it is worth the money. Mm -hmm. I only have two games on it though. <laughs> what do I? Have? We I'm have Mario. Od we have Mario Odyssey, Smash, Platoon, and LA Noir. Anyway, TLC mm. tables yeah. and ladders and chairs. Oh my! Well done. Well done. And there was that one Play time yeah. we had stairs, but we don't talk about it. Fuck <laughs> stairs. Oh, that's Aaron Rowan. Er Eric Rowan's signature match, though. Yes, because he's it's... he lost that match. Yes. So he did. the like, Undertaker like, loses like every casket match. Eh. No, buried alive match. That's the ones he loses. Eh, that that's the one. Yeah. Undertaker has but, a lot of signature matches. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? But um, but yeah, the build for this has been weird because Raw has been like the shits these last few weeks, and SmackDown has been legitimately fantastic every single week. So it's been, been 205 Live, which is 205 Live. You know, it, 205 Live is solid. It, if you want good wrestling, like, that's a good place to go. But, like... Yes. Hmm. Well, but, yeah. Know the so, most disappointing thing about 205 Live? What's that? Consistently, month after month, it doesn't break the top ten of most watched on the network. Yeah, sad Which face. It's disappointing because it's really good. Mm-hmm. There's just a lot of wrestling to watch. Very this good. is what happens when this is what happens when you sign like everyone, and you have like Spe eight hours of content every week. Speaking of lot, a, a lot of wrestling Nine. to watch. Speaking of a lot of wrestling to watch, mixed match, yeah, mixed match challenge finals. That's the first match we're going to be talking about, oh, and it's a goddamn shame and waste of time. Jeez, this was a this was just a shit show. The 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 mixed match challenge with people just here's the everyone thing. got hurt. Yeah, but here's the thing. Um, I'm I'm gonna quickly grab something real quick. Uh, mm hmm. Okay, uh, yeah. So the final two matches were Apollo Crews and Bailey versus Jinder, Ham Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox. Mm -hmm. And The Miz and Oscar versus R Truth and Carmella. Right. They were your semi finals. The ones who won were Alicia Fox and Jinder Mahal and R Truth and Carmella. The fuck, WWE. It's not great. And and here's the thing, because it's a mixed match, because it's a mixed gender match, match, there is literally no excuse for having Oscar and Miz win. <laughs> because you can literally have her in this match and have her not do much and still win. Right. And then oh, go on well. to have the triple threat match. It's like, she she is one of the few people I am confident in pulling a like pulling double duty on a night. Especially well, a mixed mat like mixed tag match, which will most likely be on the pre show. Yep. Yeah, well can't dwell too hard on what we can't get. we we got this. We got our truth and Carmella versus Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox. Rejoice. You know what? I'm gonna lean into the meme. It, it's an old meme, 
but it's a meme still. I'm picking Alicia Fox. Yeah. I'm taking those deep cuts. <laughs> I'm going to take our truth and Carmela for one very simple reason. Dance break. Our truth. Our truth is going to try to come out at number thirty in the women's rumble. <laughs> yes. I. I this is. I'm all for that. Factual. The words of Paul Heyman. This is a spoiler. See, I'm annoyed think... because that's Vince McMahon's level of humor. And you know what? Sometimes it's funny. I will give it that. Occasional, like our truth, is funny sometimes. No, he's not. Okay, Mr. Blompier. You know what? I wouldn't mind being Adam Blompier because nope. then, then, then I would have been part of a very, very good, good YouTube channel. Yes, that is shot fired at our own channel. Oh. And now well, I've, I've already. Depressed. Well, to be fair, I've already stolen like half his shtick. So. Whoops. I, I'm. I'm going with the Simon Miller thing well doing this and also being a wrestler so I'm ah. I can't criticize huh. all right well if I'm if I'm, I'm Blompier and you're Simon voice which one are you uh Jack no I'm not Jack oh, oh that's that's hurtful <laughs> I'm probably uh one of the new guys probably either Adam Cleary or Wilborn hmm. oh no, no, you know what? You're um, you're you're Sam. I'm Sam. You are. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, back to work, fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm taking our truth and Mela. Kanako's taking Ginger and Alicia. Who are you got, voice? I got Mela and Truth as well. I think. <laughs> I think if anything, I, they're I, gonna have uh, that. Uh, that makes the most sense of Mela and Truth being number thirty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But then again, right. WWE doesn't operate on sense. Also, there is the possibility of whoever wins this then loses it between now and the Rumble. Okay, That would make an already pointless thing even more pointless. A thing WWE like to do from time to time. Uh, yeah. Next match. I'm not wrong. <laughs> next you match is, a ch is, one, is one of the first of the T, L, or C matches. A chairs match. Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton in a chairs match. Is it the Yay. ruthless aggression era again? Like, Ch who doesn't love can... chairs matches? Well, the one, well, the one year uh, was a Corbin and Kalisto had actually had a decent one where you know That's Kalisto, true. Kalisto took That's a fr a, fr a freaking unprotected chair shot to the head. <laughs> <laughs> Which is stupid, by the way. Yes. So. Maybe this will be a better version of that. <laughs> so, I, I I've had an idea for um a move that Ray could do in this match. You know how mm -hmm. he slides out of the ring, and then splashes onto someone. Yeah, the baseball slide. Yeah, not the on your back one, the on his gut. Yeah. Splash. Yeah, that. But holding a chair. No, oh, yeah, that could totally work. I mean, Rey Mysterio, then... Rey Mysterio is basically Rich Man's Kalisto, and Randy Orton is basically yes. Rich Man's Baron Corbin, so... Yes. Hmm. Good work. Who are we taking? Orton. <sighs> so, there's part of me that wants to say Orton, because it, he's on a heel run at the moment. Mm -hmm. But then there's also a part of me that says... Rey Mysterio has had the short end of the straw, mm -hmm. and he... Now, do I want to get into the possible mania rumors? Because I could mm -hmm. get into the possible re mania rumors. Cause By all means. One of the rumors is Rey Mysterio versus Cien Almas for the United States Championship. There I want that wrong. match. There is nothing wrong with that match. That that match could put, put that on at like the first match of the main card, and it'll mm -hmm. blow everyone away. For sure. I'm gonna pick. I'll go ahead and say mine. I'm gonna take Rey Mysterio because I think that they need somebody to have like they they need somebody for Daniel Bryan to face at the Rumble. 
So I think Mysterio wins here and fights Daniel Bryan at the Rumble. That that would be nice. He he like if Ray wins this, he's in line for a title shot against either Bryan or the winner of um the um um wait a minute US title. Yeah, the US title, which isn't on this card. Okay, that's odd. Did they get bumped from the card or something? It never had a match. I could have swore that the that Rusev and Nakamura were gonna do something. It, no. Yeah, for, that's it's probably for between now and Rumble or at the Rumble. Weird. I know. Okay. Anyway. I'm I'm gonna pick Ray Mysterio for similar reasons to Nikki. Okay. Cool. All right. So that means our next match is a one-on-one Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre. Drew. Ouch. Drew. Drew. Claymore kicks to the face for days for Finn. Well, let's just, let's just hope he gets over his what he has the flu or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, because he, he was he was out uh, this past Raw because uh, of sickness. Yeah, and if if Finn's out, then. Like, Dolph's got to replace him, right? Oh, God. I, I really Either hope. way, Drew wins. Right. Yeah, it's, it's... Whoever he is facing, they are being fed to Drew because Drew is on his monster push, probably headed to Mania. Right. Yeah, uh, like, well, that's, that's one of the two that they might have planned for Mania. Uh, they're going to have something big planned for McIntyre, whether it's fighting somebody for the universal title or having some high profile match down the card yes but yeah next a tables match no one cares about oh boy natalia versus ruby riot at least ruby riot's getting a pay-per-view or a singles pay-per-view match which is nice like i'm sorry ruby riot's great yeah. Sorry, Natty. You, you you do not have friends that can help you tonight. I mean, she kind of does. She's, Sasha and Bailey are friends with her, and they're not on the card. That is true. But, by the way, uh, that line that Ruby said on Raw, um, the, the thing about how she'll never be closer to her dad after this match. Was that on the line of being tasteless? Uh... At this like... point, I don't... like. At this point, I do not care because WWE do not care. That's fair. Like, the only reason that I'm giving it a pass is because it was a kind of clever line. Yeah, like it. It's not. It, it's not the things that are happening to us are happening to us because of the things we did in the Shield, like what Dean said about Roman and Seth and all that. Mm-hmm. That that one was just shit. This one was at least passable. Yeah, not, it, it was marginally good, clever. Not, yeah, not good, but it, it it wasn't bad enough for me to care. Okay. And it's low enough on the card that you can just kind of be like, hmm. Eh. So yeah, um, Riot, Riot wins. Riot wins Riot. because um, I think Riot's going to be Ronda's Rumble opponent, maybe? That makes sense. No, I'm, got, I'm going Natty. I think this hmm. is the one thing that they have go- going for where the face wins in this case. The way but they've been... WWE. But mm-hmm. WWE hate faces winning unless it's R- Ronda. Hmm. Not necessarily. Especially in the women's division. Well, they do need to have, like, they, they were kind of building something between Ronda and Natty le- not long ago. So maybe Natty could win and, like, have a match with Ronda at the Rumble in a face versus face kind of deal. That, but, I, could like, see, that I could see happening. But I'm yeah. still taking Riot. Vince doesn't like face versus face stuff or heel versus heel. Yeah, but it does happen. Very, very rarely, though. 
especially when one person can kind of take on the role of basically heal, like what um like uh like basically the first match between Ronda and Nia. Mm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so we all got Riot. Except voice, he's got Natty. Yeah, I got Natty. Yes. Okay, cool. Next, next match. Next match is the L match. Elias versus Bobby Lashley, where a guitar will be suspended above the ring and the first to retrieve it can use it as a weapon. Oh, God, no. I'm having 2011 flashbacks. A guitar and a pole match. No, Yay. no. I'm thinking of a of TLC 2011. Kevin Nash <laughs> versus Triple H. Were... Sledgehammer ladder match. Yeah. Yes. Mm. But that that's not what I'm thinking of. Because they've done this before with the Honky Tonk Man. But it was on a pole. <laughs> Hello, Vince Russo, my old friend. <sighs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. So, uh-huh. Elias is winning this because... Face... And it's a guitar I, match. I literally didn't even know that this match existed. Like, like when, when I saw, like when I came into the call, I I took a look at the card and I was just like, wait, Elias versus Lashley ladder match? What? Mm-hmm. By the way, um, I guess it should be noted I haven't been watching Raw the last couple of weeks because oh. why the fuck would I? Oh, neither have I. I I, I stopped watching uh, Raw after Survivor Series and stick exclusively to SmackDown, with the exception of last Monday. This is what I said This is what I said last week. Or last uh the last thing we did. Stop fucking watching Raw. I I, I haven't watch, been watching watch Raw for five. ages. I, I haven't been watching Raw for ages. I just watch the wrestling twats that's reviews of them. <laughs> Gives me enough information. That's fair. I, I do the same with Steven Larson. But, uh, okay, so Elias Lashley, I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess Elias. Yeah, I got I got Elias winning this one. Okay. And that gives us... You know what? You, you know what? No, I'm, I'll take Lashley. Leo Rush will get involved. <laughs> okay. Like, this match is so, like, not... Like, Remember, not important that we shouldn't all go all in on it. Well, remember, the just taking down the guitar doesn't mean you win. You've still got to pin your opponent. Right. Yeah. It's one of okay. those ladder matches. One of those shit ones. Yeah. Next match for the Raw Women's Title: Ronda Rousey versus Nia. My entire gimmick is a botch, Jax. Ronda wins, lol. Oh God, please let Ronda win. I would, please, like if 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 they have her lose, there's no point in having her face Becky Lynch. If they have her lose, there's no point to anything. The world is fucked. Everything is fucked. It is only I that you can trust in this city. I got away from so, me. So yeah, we're we're all going Ronda Rousey. Yes, please. Yeah. I think that Good. that's that, that's that's a rhetorical question. <laughs> yeah. Next match: Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin in a TLC match. If it's, if uh, Strowman wins, he will receive a Universal Championship match at the Royal Rumble, and Corbin will be stripped of all authority, rotative power. If Corbin wins, he will become full-time general manager of Raw. Strowman's winning. Uh, assuming he shows up. He can show up with an injured shoulder, even with it just having surgery on, and still win. Yeah, keep in mind, this is Baron Corbin we're talking about here. In a TLC match. Literally, he can just grab a chair, twat Baron Corbin a couple of times, and then pin him. (laughs) Yes, these are all facts. I actually did a fantasy booking that involved WrestleMania, that involved this match... And in it, I said Baron Cor- or Braun Strowman wins in like three minutes, with like yeah, no, less than that. yeah, with like no damage or like him taking as few bumps as possible. And also keep in mind this is a twelve match card, so something's got to be short. Yeah, there's got to be some short matches. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this would be one of them. Uh, okay, assuming that Strowman, Strowman does show up, I'll take him. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't know. This this match is probably going to get thrown out. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Yeah, like, like, plus, if this match plus actually this... happens. Mm-hmm. If this match actually happens, it's either Baron Corbin via a forfeit, or I'm just outright dump. Yeah, and this can be like Heath Slater's opportunity for revenge. Mm-hmm. By the way, what are we thinking about the Heath Slater as referee storyline? Uh, I, I, like, I think I I like it as a like as a C plot to this Baron Corbin thing. Right. I I, I, think, I, I well, love I love the he, idea of Strowman just knocking down Baron, pinning him, and then and um. Then um, Heath Slater just going, one, two, three. Hmm. And then just running away. Yeah. I'm or f- even better, even better, he takes out uh, uh, Heath Slater, and then he pins Corbin, takes uh, Slater's lifeless arm. Poof, poof, poof. No, I, 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 like the, I, I like the better idea of Heath actually doing the fast count, because then it's... Mm-hmm. The impotence of of um, Baron losing all his power is a mm-hmm. fast count by the person, one of the people he's bullied, and then that can lead into a story between Corbin and Heath. I, I want the, the the Heath thing to go for a little while longer. Anyway, that's what I'm saying. saying. Like it, it becomes an actual match. And yep, boys. Um, I also yeah, I, I agree with uh, what Brian Zane was saying. Uh, mm-hmm. and I think that they, they push the, oh, he, uh, the, the whole, oh, he's actually a heel referee thing a little too fast. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, but I don't know, this is, this is probably going to be over and done with in, within a month. Mm, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, I think this will be like a, like... I think this will be a thing that gets wrapped up in the Rumble. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Like, Baron gets his revenge against Heath in the Rumble. Okay. Next match. Uh, oh, wait. We're all, I forgot. We're all picking Strowman, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Ne- next match is a triple threat tag match for the SmackDown uh, Tag Team Championships. The Bar versus The New Day versus The Usos. Why this is isn't this a ladder match? Or a TLC match? Or fucking anything? Because this is kind of like the closest we've ever had to a, like, Edge and Christian, Hardy's, and Dudley's match. Right. Long, like, since then. Like, the mm-hmm. bar is the Dudley's, New Day is Edge and Christian, the Usos are Jeff and Matt. Yeah, that it all fits. That is that is true. But um, who to take though? I don't think it's gonna be the bar Day retaining. Rocks. New day rocks. New day rocks. Yeah, they've been actually kind of out of a few, just like observing between uh the the bar and the Usos. Hmm. Who, who doesn't want to see Sanity versus New Day at Rumble? I want to see that. That'd be nice. I also want to see Usos and Sanity. Well, actually, I'd prefer to see New Day and Sanity at Mania. So you have New Day pick up the belts here. They defend the belts at Rumble against the bar. And then their next, like, you have a number one contenders match at the pay-per-view between Rumble and Mania. Yeah, and that's like like the bar or the Usos versus Sanity and Sanity wins via shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take the Usos. Okay. I'm a t- so I'm I don't know day. why, but I just feel confident about them. And I think I'll take the new day. Okay. They've been outside Same observers. Voice. I think I think they'll they'll pick up a win here. 
Mm. Plus, we need that more merch. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure. All right. Next match is for the cruiserweight title. Buddy Murphy defends against Cedric Alexander. Rematch from uh, Super Showdown. Super Showdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there is no it's... reason to have Cedric win. There is. Uh, yes, there is. What's because that reason? we are building. We are building towards uh, Alexander Ali to Electric Boogaloo at WrestleMania, and. Cedric can pick the title back up here and uh, turn heel between now and Mania and get into a feud with Ali. Like, we, we already kind of saw with the Ali match on SmackDown against Daniel Bryan. Like, like you saw how basically he was like, what the hell happened to you? Like, you used to be an inspiration and blah, 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 blah. Like, this could be that but just transplanted into a full feud with cedric alexander who is hopefully a lot more interesting as a heel so i'm taking cedric to pick the title back up Ooh, buddy yeah i got okay. murphy i got murphy as well all right that's fine next match is for the intercontinental championship Seth Rollins defends against D Dean Ambrose. Please end this goddamn feud. Ambrose Dean's going is going to win this. I'm taking Ambrose. I'm picking Ambrose yeah, too, Dean. but please, God, just end it already. It is awful. It yeah. Is, not only is it awful, like it was good, and then Vince got involved. Uh, yeah, and then they made they made uh, him a. Uh, a heel who gets vaccinated. Yes. Boo. That was, that was an episode of Raw that was written mostly by Vince on the mm -hmm. day of the episode. There's a yeah. reason why I dislike Vince. Yeah. We get this. <sighs> just, so, just, yeah. just please put it on Dean so we can have a D Dean versus Elias match at WrestleMania. Sure, that works. And then Seth the can... Yeah, and then Seth can win the Royal Rumble and then fight somebody and win the Universal title. Yay! Um... Dude, if anybody's going to be the guy to, like... If anybody's going to be the next Vince guy, it's going to be Seth. Because, like, given how, given what he said on the last Raw where he talked about how much Raw was shit, he, he's basically going to be spearheading the... the campaign for change basically yeah so but the, see, see here's the thing mm -hmm. i see him actually having a match against one of vince's like picked guys like seth versus um drew could be that match that drew gets if he doesn't get a universal title shot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because Drew was one of the guys Vince went, I'm going to make you a made man. You are a made man if you work well. And mm -hmm. that didn't go well. But now he's yeah. back with Vengeance. So why not continue that storyline? Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah, we're all taking Ambrose. Yes. Cool. Next match. Daniel it's for Ryan. the WWE Championship. Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. Or, let me rephrase that. The new Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. How dare you have a family and drive an SUV? Yeah, you will pack all of those children into a vault and you will like it. Not, not a vault. Yeah, you're right. A Flintstones car. Prius. A Prius. Prius. No, 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 no. A Prius is just a hybrid. Like, a vault is like the fully electric ones. Well, well, until uh, like Chevy I'm... or Toyota decide, oh, hey, we're going to make our cars 100% solar powered. Yeah, no, that's what I, that's why I was saying, like Daniel Bryan exclusively drives a Flintstones vehicle. By the way, GM, if you're not on that, get on that right now. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, another Daniel Bryan thing. How long is it going to be until um, he gets a new WWE Championship strap that isn't made out of leather? Oh. Now, now I've, I've, I've hemp title anyone? 
<laughs> no, it no. You clearly gave him a pleather belt. No, no, that's like pleather is fake leather. A full no, a full, yeah, but, full leather. Yeah, but it, it's still like it's still close enough that Daniel will be like fickle, fickle. It's fickle leather. That's what it is. There you go. It's fleather. Be- better idea. Not not hemp. What? How about this? A wood one. <laughs> what in title? W- wood. A wood with rope. title. I can get like, behind you connect, this. You connect the side, the main plate, and the side plates. It's with um, like holes in them and rope. <laughs> or just make the whole thing out of rope. Hmm. Hemp rope. <laughs> It'd be the most eco-friendly evil uh, belt of all time. Yes. <laughs> what we're oh, trying God. to say here is that what we're trying to say here is that heel Daniel Bryan is amazing. Yes, and and Daniel Bryan is winning this match because why would they put the belt on him and then have him defend it instantly against AJ and have him lose? Correct. Like, sorry, AJ. Please accept this consolation prize of fighting Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania. Yay! Again. What? No, they never fought yet. Yes, they have. When? When you did AJ don't fight? Remember the AJ versus this Shane match at Mania? Oh no, no, oh. Sean, not Shane. Oh, Sh- Sean Michaels. Yeah. That's that's. I, yeah, that's I like ever so infusi- slightly different. I, I like your enthusiasm to have that happen. I really mm-hmm. do, honeys. <laughs> Well, then just go with it. It's better than what they're actually going to do. Anyway, like, next match. What, what are they, what would be the, uh, what would be the other plan for AJ if, if they don't have him get back into the title picture by Mania? Like, Orton? That's... That's one plan. Joe? Uh, eh, it's, it's, it, eh, save Joe for another thing. Like, save, save for, What? And Nakamura? Uh, they, they've all done... He's done all that shit before. He's... That's the thing. He's faced everyone. Bring up Adam Cole! That's actually okay. a decent idea. Okay, sure. <laughs> or you could have, like, Shawn Michaels. Like, like he was the one good part of that tag match at, at oh, Crown Jewel. Better idea. What? Triple six-man tag match. AJ Styles and the Good Brothers... Versus Reed Dragon and Adam Cole, baby. Okay, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Yeah, okay, next. Okay, final match. Yes, for the main, probably going to be the main event, a triple threat match, yes. TLC match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Asuka, the man, so... the queen, and the Empress. So, so <laughs> I, I, I love you, Becky. I love you. I really do. But but I'm picking Oscar. Ooh, change it up. See, here's the thing. Becky and Flair, this is how I think it's going to end up happening. Becky and Flair are going to be fighting each other and do big a big move on each other. Mm-hmm. Other. And then, uh, well, well, that's happening. Oscar just climbs up and takes it down. Hmm. That's not Charlotte Asuka's and style. Becky lose. No, Charlotte and Becky lose because they're focused on each other. That could happen, and I would be inclined to agree with you if Asuka didn't stand tall on the go-home. Like... Now, I want to point something out. out. The whole standing tall on the go-home means bullshit. We all know this. I if really need to go the... back and check the math on this. I, I, but... I've done I've done a fair bit of math on that, and m- most of the time it's a 50-50 crapshoot if it actually happens. Yeah. Well, mostly because they probably changed the results on the night of. Yes, that is very true. Now, here's, here's the thing. The reason Oscar is in this match is because Vince was surprised with how much of a reaction she got at, 
on on the lead up to the whole Survivor Series thing because oh, Vince yeah, when... didn't see that coming. Yeah. Yeah, like Be- Becky goes up to each woman, I mean, goes up to ask her. The crowd erupts. Ups. Then <laughs> it goes to. Then she goes to Charlotte, and the crowd dies down. That is the <laughs> biggest sign that. Oscar is more important to the crowd than Charlotte. Hmm. <sighs> of course, this is Charlotte Flair, Oscar, and Becky Lynch here, so it's like your three best women. Hmm. This is hard. I don't know who I want to pick because I want to pick Becky retaining. I really do. Here's because... the other thing. Mm-hmm. If Becky loses this here, it does free her up to go into the Women's Royal Rumble and then face Ronda at Mania. I'm taking Charlotte. Ooh. I'm taking Charlotte to win here. I'm taking Becky to win the Women's Rumble, fight Ronda, and then Charlotte and Asuka fight again at WrestleMania, and Asuka mm-hmm. gets her win back and wins the title there. That's my that's my plan. Don't try to change it. That's fair point. Well, I, I, me, me and you are basically on the same wavelength there, except for I'm saying Oscar uh, has the title at Mania and defends it. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to be the contrarian and say Becky will uh, retain to complete out her uh, comp- complete her tra- to complete her transformation as the best thing on SmackDown. She will climb the ladder with a with a semi broken face. Mm-hmm. See, here's the thing. Becky Lynch is basically Stone Cold right now, am I right? Yes. Yeah. Stone Cold didn't hold the title that much. He chased. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is what Becky Lynch can do. She yes. can lose the title here and chase and kick ass along the way. Now, I'll tell you what would be a great thing at Mania. Mm-hmm. Becky versus Ronda... And we, you just reenact the Brett versus Stone Cold old match. You could do that. Where Becky just passes out from the pain of the armbar. Preferably with a totally bloody face. Oh yeah, like yeah, obviously. <laughs> Going without saying, that would be really cool, and I think that might happen. Because it WWE like to WWE like to rehash the past a lot. Yeah, and also you've got the other horsewomen coming up soon. It'd be really weird if R- Ronda was a face at that point. So, like Ronda's turning heel really, soon. That could be a really good point to start the heel turn for Ronda. Correct. Because plus, on top of that, no matter what uh, Ronda does going into that match she's, she's going to be the heel she, she is going to be booed no matter what she does because becky is over as fuck correct all right so i um, believe yeah i believe that covers everything uh we got her yeah we're all wow we're almost at the end of the year yep this we're gonna have to do something for that of the year for for WWE. Thank fucking finally, the only two shows we have left, the only show we have left this year is Final Wars from Ring of Honor. That's like the next big show in the indie scene. And then after that, we have Wrestle Kingdom. Yep, guess so... What, guys? Hmm. Guess what? What? We're gonna do a prediction video for Wrestle Kingdom. Okay. Prepare for me to not know shit just like what happened with the Dominion video. Didn't you do fairly well in that one? I have no idea. What's uh, 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 I probably, I'm yeah. probably If I end up doing that video, I'll probably just pick, okay, I, I know that person, so I'll pick him. It's actually a really stacked card. Anyway. Uh, oh yes. See you guys. Uh, yes, next time we will see you for the end of the year list. Um, whenever whenever that comes out. Take care. It'll be like 
relatively close to the start of the year, either before or after, so. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, take care, everybody. <laughs>